Hey everybody, I'm Greg with the Fix My Bleep channel. Thanks so much for joining me today. So this is going to be a setup video of the Lifetime 44 inch poolside basketball system. Be sure and give me a big thumbs up or a like. Also like and subscribe to my channel. Now let's get to the video. Let's dive right in. Tools required for this project will be a half inch open end wrench and a 3 16 Allen wrench. All right, so here's a little bit closer up look at everything that was in the box. So you've got your base or your stand, your wheels, your instructions, there's your hoop, your net, your uh, bolts and everything to assemble it, your backboard, your pole and your parts, your braces, and next up let's put this bad boy together and let's check it out. So Lifetime does a really good job with their instructions. They are clear, concise and easy to understand. So they start out with your parts list or what should come included in the packaging. Looks like a quick, easy assembly. And uh, from what I'm seeing here, they give you some really nice diagrams and everything. So let's just uh, go start on this and let's just go knock it out and get it done. First off, it calls for these supports to be attached to your base. So I'm gonna go ahead and attach the supports to the base. Looks like we need Probably this is a bag of bolts right here. Got your two bolts right here. You match them up if you're in doubt. You got your washers. And then your nuts. Okay, so you want to take your support, you want to put it through here, bolt that on, and then you're going to do the same to the other side. And you got it going towards the notch at the, at the back here. Looks like you're using a washer on each side. Now put the bolt through the washer down through the hole, and tap it through. Washer on the other side, and then you want to get your nut on. These are your lock nuts, so once you start it, you'll feel some resistance. Crescent wrench, also come in handy. Half inch wrench. Tighten up. Just get it snug, don't over tighten it. And then you want to rinse and repeat for the other side. Again, two washers, one bolt, one nut. Make sure your support's oriented correctly. Bolt through the brace, pop it through the plastic, or through the support. There it goes. Put your washer on and then your nut. You'll feel some resistance on those threads. Go ahead and tighten her up. Crescent wrench on the bottom, tighten it with your half inch wrench on the top. If you have a socket set that'd be super quick. Feel free to use that. Just get it snug. Don't over tighten these yet because you'll still have to adjust them in. So, next up, we've got the big pole. We're going to grab this. So, you want your writing so it's readable, so it's going up. Got kind of a slot. I think that goes at the very top from what we're seeing. Okay, so again, you want to make sure that your writing and your labels are readable when you stand your pole upright. So all of your wheels and everything go down here. So this is the bottom of your pole. There's a notch which goes at the top of your pole. So that's very important to make sure you've got that correct. And uh, so we're gonna go ahead and assemble this. This protrusion thing looks like it goes through this top part. 
axle looks like it goes through the bottom part here. If I'm looking at all this correctly. It says with the pole assembly on the ground and the elongated hole at the end facing downward. So that needs face downward, obviously. Position the long axle under the recesses. Okay, insert the two protrusions on the pole spacers into the two holes on each side. Slide the long and short axes through the holes in the ends of the poles. So let's put the pole spacers on, and they've actually got little um, raised notches that look like they go into the pole itself. So let's take a look here. Yeah, those do fit right into the pole. So as you slide these spacers on, I don't know if the camera can see that, but that has kind of a little raised edge and that will slide right into the actual pole as you push that, on, that spacer on. So make sure you get that turned right, in other words. Yeah, it says note the orientation of the pole spacers. Slide the wheels and washers over the long axle. Let's get the wheels on there next, and then it looks like a washer goes after the wheels. Doesn't look like the wheels go on any certain direction. So here's the washers, great big neoprene or plastic washer it looks like. Pop that on there. This is how it should look. I've got the washers on the end there. Axles through there, the other protrusions through the pole. And then we're going to go ahead and insert this pole into the base here next. Now, now that the instructions say that the notch right here needs to face downward, otherwise you're going to be in trouble. So the notch faces downward. It says position the long axle under the recesses. Step onto the base so that the axle snaps into the recesses. So basically shows you rolling this up under the base and then rotating the pole assembly upward until a short axle slides over the ridges on top of the base. Let's see if this works. Make sure your washers are where they need to be. Yep, there's a little recess under there for all this to happen. And it says to rotate this upward. Oh, I see, and that's supposed to snap right up on top of this thing. Just like that. Okay. And yeah, that did just kind of pop right up on there. All right, so that's kind of cool. All right, so now that that's up, it's saying to go ahead and attach these, um, these supports to your pole right here. So that's why we left them a little bit loose. It's got a really long bolt here and then a pin that goes on the other side. We need to use two washers apparently, according to the instructions. So let's get that done. Also, we've got the Allen head that we're gonna use on each side. And this does come with two Allen wrenches. So let's get that done next. You will be using the slightly larger bag of washers for this, by the way. Okay, why don't you get these two to connect and you can snug up all these bolts. Okay. Now you can snug up the base bolts now that those are connected. Okay, so the next step is we need to find a little chair or something and tip this over and put in like a pull cap and then we'll uh, move on to that. All right, so I grabbed a couple of chairs just for the height because next up we'll be installing the backboard. I just installed the pole cap or the top of this unit. Uh, I didn't pound it in there or anything. That just popped right in super easy and it should be easy to take off if we need to. 
Okay, for the next step, we're gonna assemble the brackets onto the pole. So you need the two brackets, you need the U-bolt, and then you need two of the other main bolts, uh, four washers and two of the lock nuts. So let's go ahead and get that going. All right, so very important, you wanna take your two supports, just like that. And looking at this diagram, you wanna take your U-bolt, you wanna put it through right here, through this hole, and you want it going just like that. Next up, you wanna pull these supports apart. You wanna turn the supports over so that the flat piece is up. You wanna drop them into the notch on your Pull, carefully hold them with one hand. Take your bolt, see how talented I am. Don't forget your washers. Try to line it up. Push your bolt through. Get your other washer on that other end of that bolt. Get your lock nut on there. Try not to drop it. Get it started. Grab your other bolt, get your washer on that. Try to thread that through. All the way through there. Get your other washer on. Get their lock nut on the other side, get that threaded, get it started. Once you get them started, it'll hold itself in place. And then you should be able to go ahead and tighten these up. And that's kind of what the instructions look like doing this process. So you got the two bolts, four washers, two lock nuts, and then the big U-bolt. And make sure that U-bolt gets placed right into the slot on your pole. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and snug these bolts up. That says do not over tighten them. Okay, so next we can attach the rim to the backboard. So I'm gonna set the backboard up here. So let's pull the U-bolt through. So you know, I've gotta make sure you turn your U-bolt up. Ah, see, I can't turn the U-bolt up, so that's a mistake I made during the build. So now I'm gonna have to loosen this up because the U-bolt is turned the wrong way. So I need to, so when you assemble this, make sure you keep that U-bolt turned upright. You might even have to tape it or something during assembly because I cannot turn this U-bolt upward. So I'm gonna have to loosen this up and turn the U-bolt upwards right now because it's hitting the bracket. So just something to note there, you guys. Okay, so that was a really good catch. Make sure your U-bolt is facing straight up so it'll go through the backboard when you put these brackets on. Don't do what I just did. That's why you're watching this video, right? Okay. 
Snug it up. Let's try this again. Okay, I see bolts this time. That's a good sign. Get your backboard package right there. Get your parts out. This time we get our hoop. It all line up. All right, let's get the hoop mounted on to the backboard and onto the pole. Let's do this. So now that we've got the U bracket figured out and in the correct position, you take your special washers here. They've got like a little notch. It goes down over the U bolt. Put those on. You've got your metal washer that goes over the top of those. And then you've got your locking nuts that go on over the top of that. So we don't want to over tighten this yet. We do want to snug it down just a little bit, but definitely not over tighten. Must be a half inch. Two of the bolts put through the backboard here. Again, it's got these uh, washers that'll fit down into the holes. There they both go. Okay, gonna put the nuts on the backs of these bolts and the washers, get those snugged up, and then we should be able to tighten up this rim and get that rim finished. Nuts are on, bolts are through. Let's tighten it up. Okay, hoops on, everything's tightened up. Should be good there. Okay, we're running out of parts really quick, so I think we're almost done. Looks like I need to turn this all the way over so we can get those brackets onto the backboard. All right, so next up, we need to bend the brackets out to help support the backboard. Now, normally you can lay this down to do it, but I'm not going to bother to lay this thing down on the front with the hoop and everything already attached. So uh, I will bend these brackets out. And then once you get them bent out, you've got a couple of bolts and then you've got a couple of specialized nuts that go on here. So the bolts go in from the back and the nuts go into the front. Here's the specialized nuts. Here's your bolts. So let's bend these brackets out and see if we can get them to line up. And so you literally just bend the bracket like that. You'll bend it a little bit past. I've built other basketball stands before, so these usually work out pretty well. Bend it a little past and bring it back up. And you're doing this before all your hardware is really tightened up. So if you can adjust things or need to adjust things, you have a little bit of play. Then you do want to insert your bolt through the back. So put your bolt through the back. And then you've got that specialized washer or specialized nut that goes through the front. And it fits right into your backboard. And this should just start to thread. You might have to bend the bracket just a little bit more to get it to start. Okay, that actually started pretty easily. And thread it in as far as you can, and then we'll tighten it up here in a minute. Now this one does not 
call for a washer. So it's just your bolt and your specialized nut. Rinse and repeat. And where that bolt locks itself in there, you can just sit here and quickly tighten this. Crank it down. So at this point, the instructions say that we're good to go ahead and tighten down all the bolts, make sure everything's secured, put in the rest of the plugs and caps and everything, and then we can move it out to the pool. Okay, we've got your main water plug right here. We can go ahead and put this in. Also, one thing to note, they say you can put some uh, bleach in your water just to keep the algae or whatever from forming in there and turning all nasty or stinking. Here's a cap or a plug right here. And drop that in right there. Okay, let's turn this around and get the net on the hoop. Okay, there's our net and it is officially ready to go out by the pool. Let's go check it out. So the retail price on this item is right around $199.99 and you can't really go wrong with Lifetime, hence the name. All right, so there's a look at the fully assembled Lifetime 44 inch basketball system by Lifetime. Yeah! Hopefully this Lifetime poolside basketball system setup video is really helpful for you. I'm glad that I made the mistakes I did so that you guys don't do the same thing. Be sure and give me a big thumbs up or a like. Also subscribe to my channel. Check out these other videos I've got going on. Stay tuned for the review coming up and I'll catch you guys later.